Hello all and welcome back to the land of Peter Davison Celery here in the world of Police Box. That's right, as Peter Capaldi's appels dump volunteers take some of Peter Davison Celery's trash. The great big tuntis for a town names that is this world here on Let's Play Max Sim City with me, Cleavers Let's. How are you all doing? It's been a week since our last Sim City episode. All good fun, isn't it? Oh, God. Why are we doing this again? Right. Hang on. I'm going to do something really technical here. That's something really technical. Just to clean my mouse. As you can see, the connection's been lost. Why? Why? No. Why are we doing this? What is this? There we go. And we'll connect again. Kim in. I don't want to be stuck on Extrudo Burger MFG. Not for a long time. There we go. Come on. Come on, mouse. I can see you going. You're wanting to go. Come on. Connected. There we go. Well, how about that, eh? How about that? So last time we left this fair city, we were all about the oil. All about the oil. And we're still about the oil. We're going to get our oil on. Um, nothing really bad is happening. We just need to utilise this oil a lot more. And we've got some more trade going on. We doubled our trade up because people weren't happy. That's mainly it. What's our oil doing? I always seem to press the off button instead of the working out button. So, I could put another one there. I could put another one there. I think I could do. I could possibly. Yeah. Put another one there. Two more. Hmm. I'd only be able to put one there. Oh well, we'll see what we can do. So, let's up our delivery trucks shortly. Let's speed up our our time. Ah. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm not exporting this oil at the moment, or I'm not exporting all of it. I'm only exporting very small amounts, because I don't want to. I want to keep it so we can make money out of more things when that comes. And of course we started this new oil field here, which I'm not going to exploit all of. I'm going to have one fully working oil field, and one for keeps. Now you are using your oil locally. You are exporting your oil. That's good. It's fine by me. We're managing our oil effectively, I think. Um, can't do anything yet, otherwise... Ooh! One button. I'm too used to playing Cook Serve Delicious right now. I'm button, button happy. Very button happy. So yeah, we need to do a little bit more. Almost social planning, really, once we've got a bit more money. And um, there's Omega Co. Coming soon, Omega Co. For those of you that don't know and haven't read the blog, uh, the SimCity blog that they do, um, Omega Co. is a company that produces a substance called Omega. And Omega is a combination of oil and ore in some kind of weird crazy way that smells and is pretty really bad for business but everybody wants in it it's going to make you a lot of money and that's what Omega Co produce and that is the main basis I think from what I've seen of the cities of tomorrow the cities of tomorrow expansion pack that is coming out well I have to admit the cities I, I just don't want to spend that much money for it, if I'm honest. But the cities do look cool. 
they look very Blade Runner-esque. Oh, caught it a video accidentally. Sorry about that. Murderer on the loose. At least our traffic isn't too bad. Seeming we are on basic roads. I mean, these are all, apart from, apart from our little section here. These are all, hello webs. These are all dirt roads. I'm going to need to get some police down at some point. All right, so, got some money there. Let's put down another oil storage lot so that we've got somewhere to get rid of it. And I think we're going to have to think about having some kind of police station. Now we have the, free, the French police station before. There we go. This should help. This should help with crime. In theory. Hmm. In fact, I'm going to add a police car to the lot. There we go. Oh, now our now we're going to lose money without, but we're going to make it from that. So maybe now we still need some residential. Let's um pop a residential area in here. Oh no! Whoa! You came out of nowhere. No, I don't want Doctor Vu. Goodbye. I want to put some more residential down. So I didn't really want to put a lot of residential anyway. For the obvious reason. And remember that we still got all that we can mine out here as well. Which we're going to do. Do you know what I might do? There's a lot of demand for low housing. Couldn't find work. What, what, how can you not find work? Something is not right there. If you, sir, cannot find work, it might be worth adding a fairly slummish area to Peter Capaldi's lapels, you know. Uh, okay, look. I don't want Dr. Vu. I don't want Maxis Man. Screw Maxis Man. Hmm. There's still a demand for commercial. So. How about that? Little corner. Little commercial corner right there. And. I could put one there, but that'd be ridiculous. I I'm going to put something there. I'm going to put something there as well. Hopefully that will cessate the demand for commercial. Um, I just wanted to place crime wave. Okay. We do have bad health issues. We know this. Fire service is slow. Well, there's something I can do to help that. No, it's not a fire station. It's a bell. <laughs> Although they've probably ironed that bug out that the bell actually <laughs> made a lot of difference compared to what it actually was. It wasn't really a bug. It was just a little part of the game. Oh, hello. I do love this random kink. Really pointless random kink. I mean, yeah, traffic's busy. But at least it's regulated and moving in. The one problem you always have is that suddenly it gets gridlocked. At least it's moving. And it's moving quite well. And buses and delivery trucks are fine because they go the opposite way. I've separated this out well, I feel. Crime in progress. Yeah, well, we knew this was going to happen. We knew. 
It's graffiti already just on top. Sim! Phone going off. Phone going mad. My friends talking about watching the Shawshank Redemption. I know I'm mocking each other for peep for crying or not crying or admitting to crying. Which would be really, really cool. If you could if I could have built a tunnel underneath that to go across there. It would have been mad. Oh, fried chicken. It's like um Right, cook serve delicious right there. It's dirty business. Dirty, dirty business. We're not really making a lot of money on tax, so I'm going to need to expand this operation of um, of residence, I feel. Um, let's find the ore. Let's get rid of these buildings first. Let's find where the ore is again. Let's bring this data map up. Ore, 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 ore. So the ore is all here. So this area, and with the exception of that, but this area should be perfectly fine for me to cultivate. Now, um, let's get a better view. Actually, I like the grid line there. I'm going to go through you. I'm sorry. I'm not that sorry. Oh, that wasn't straight. I bent at the last minute. Why did you do that? Now this is going to be completely off kilter. Ugh. And this can come out to here. We're still good on the hill. And I'm going to curve this road. Bang. <laughs> there we go. It goes from straight to snake. And I'm going to start just by putting in one, two. We'll see what happens. Let's see whether this this desire for this goes down and that we get more rent. I like this little road. Look how it curves. Apart from there where it just kind of doesn't do anything. And it's got this ridiculous weird junction which hasn't overlapped properly. That's great, isn't it? Oh, I love it. Welcome to Dirt City. Well, rent's going up. Let's have a look at the residential demand. Let's actually have a look. Have a look at our population and see what we need. There are five hundred and seventy available jobs wow low wealth and medium wealth there are some medium wealth jobs as well there aren't any shoppers apart from low wealth shoppers so and there aren't any medium wealth there's medium wealth jobs and high wealth jobs They must be commuting in, surely. No, they're not. None of them are commuting in, apart from the medium wealth as well. We can change that. Let's put some more. More down. All these neighbourhoods. These neighbourhoods are cool. Let's see what happens there. Oh, we've got quite a bit of money now. 
which means it might be time to get this commute on. So if I delete you, right, then we connect you. I delete you. No, 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 no. Okay. Let's carry you onto there and connect you back up. And then we're going to upgrade you. Fantastic. How about that? And the only other thing we need bus stop. Beautiful, lovely. Here we go. Time for trains. Now let's get this commuting working properly. We're going to <laughs> minus seven bucks an hour. We're going to increase the fire capacity a little because we can. And I'm going to increase the police capacity again. And I've got enough money here to work on some health. Including another ambulance. This seems pretty frivolous, you know, but it's it's kind of needed. So we're now minus one grand an hour, so let's finish putting in these residential zones. Let's keep these guys happy with a few basic parks. Yeah, okay. You can have a swing. You can have a swing. Uh, you guys over here. Wow. Um, Nothing really going on there. You can have a barbecue pit. And you guys over here. Oh, you're going to be cheeky. I'm going to give you a basketball court. Right near the train station. So. I'm going to upgrade some wealth. Maybe fill some of these jobs a little. Who knows. What's our residential demand looking like? It's still there. It's not massive though. Is it interesting how the how the traffic system has changed slightly now it's expanded. So before all the residents were coming up here to go around, but now we've connected this part of the road. Let's see if we can see it when it goes, um, let's fast forward it to when it begins to get light and it begins to get to commuter time. And we'll see how this has affected it. Still dark. Less dark. Less dark, please. Give me sunlight. And then we'll go over, oh. So these are, what? trucks so these are freight trucks so this is all our industry that they come in from the right merge lanes onto the left and there's been a lot of problems with traffic but it does say in a blog um a, it's called the state of sim city it was called and um it just said a, a bit about sim city and about the blogs and about what had happened now um Traffic was broken, I admit, but it's broken. But they also believe that they tried to make traffic 
in itself a strategy. And you can kind of see why when, I mean, these goods lorries are going to the factories. So they're coming in here on this right hand lane, moving then into this double lane from a three lane to a two lane. And then moving from this two lane onto the left of that lane so they can go to the industrial estate. Now, residents coming in will move in from here into this left lane to turn left to go up here and join this. And in the same way, people coming anywhere from here will turn right and join this lane into the right lane to go down there to go out pretty easily. And the buses and some of the residents and, and some of the delivery trucks from um, the freight depot will come up here on this right lane going to the middle lane to go straight forward and then stay on this right lane so they can turn right at the end. It is a strategy on in itself. Look, here you go, here's one. He's a crude oil delivery truck, you see. So he's going and he's staying in that right lane the entire time. Now, you, this makes absolute common sense, really. I know this is because I'm a driver. I drive. And as you can see, he can easily go there while the other traffic funnels up on the left. And it's just having a strategy in place to make that work as freely as you possibly can that makes this good. So let's speed this up so we get more commuters coming in now. There we go. Nope. As you can see, people are coming in. The rubbish trucks. Interesting to see where they go. And they're going straight forward. Some are going straight forward to collect rubbish here. These guys are staying on the right. These guys are staying on the right because they're leaving. And if I upgraded this, you wouldn't have as much as this crossover at the bottom bit. This would then turn into a, um, a freeway road and it would be a lot easier. But don't need to yet. And look, as you can see, this guy moved. Very interesting. And you can see some some of these delivery delivery trucks, instead of coming down and coming and clogging up this road from these guys, are coming down to this trade depot here using this route. So they're using it tactically. Others are not because they're closer to that bit. Makes a bit more sense, doesn't it? And there's a bus. Ah, you see. All this work that I talk, I talk about, and it thinks like there's no planning. All right, okay. So let's speak. Come on, we've got to get some commutes coming in now. You're telling me me connecting that road has lessened the traffic into the city. The traffic in the city, I don't know about where. I mean, it's, it's, it's running. It's running fairly free. Ah, here we go. Here's a bit more. Here's a lot of people commuting into work, sticking in the right lane, going right, and going on the motorbike. You can see as they move across. They slightly glitch out when they get to there. And, there. and there's the lane. So he's turning, saying left. Oh, oh, he just did a 180. He didn't want to even come into my city. See you, mate. Bye. How's our rail travel doing? Nobody waiting yet. School, you're going to want more, aren't you? Yeah, we'll we'll give you some more. I got some money to do this. Have a room. Enjoy that room. Any buildings? No, we're doing all right. See, the one thing we're going to need to do eventually is, of course, upgrade all these roads. Because this will get busy. This is probably about to get busy. Speed up a tiny bit. See how busy this gets as soon as it hits nine o'clock. On 9 a.m. Right. Anybody waiting there at that train depot? No. Could be a waste of money. Well, we haven't got long left of this video, so let's jump out. Let's jump over to the lapels. 
We got fifteen thousand there. We haven't got a lot of money. Let's just see how we're doing. And then maybe, just maybe, put down a train station. Yes, a train station. So the train station costs 40 grand. We have grand total of 15. Do you know what I'm going to do? I can wait and I can be patient, or I could take out a bomb measure. We can afford it, it's fine. We're using this to stimulate growth. So I'm going to put you there. You're fairly close to the road, a bit too close. Damn it. Should have thought that for a little bit more. Um, ah, lovely. Slightly off, but you know, who cares? And finally, bus stops. You will have a bus stop here and a bus stop. I still same side of the road, right there. And that's it. And you don't have a bus stop either, so done. And we'll pay for that. Bring, bring. We'll pay for that at a later time. But in the meantime, um, thank you very much for watching another for SimCity. I hope to get another one out later on in the week. Uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed this and you want to see more. Remember to subscribe. There's Minecraft. There's Cook, Serve, Delicious. Bom, 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 bom. As the song goes. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.